Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, once upon the Nile, the epic of Moses. You know, really what this class is about is it's about being comfortable reading the Quran, reflecting upon the verses, interacting with them, uh, asking very um, personal, introspective questions. <laughs> You know, how does this story that I'm reading in the Quran relate to me and, and, and what can I benefit from it in my personal life? So that's really our, our main objective here is to do something called tadabbur is to be able to reflect and ponder on a deeper level. It's the next step after we kind of understand the general meaning of the verse. You know, we, 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 we go over vocabulary words. What do these words mean? We look at narrations of the Prophet wasallam, any statements of, uh, you know, his companions or the first generation after the companions. Uh, you know, so then we get an understanding of what Allah is saying in this verse, but we want to take it to the next level after that. We want to ask the question, why? Why is Allah saying this here and, and why in this way? Uh, is there anything interesting about the nuance of the, the word choice or perhaps the order? Um, you know, obviously a story has a lot of details, right? But Allah in the Quran doesn't give us a tremendous amount of detail. Uh, now obviously the story of Musa has way more detail with respect, you know, in comparison to the other stories in the Quran. But still there's a lot of details left out. So then when we do find some detail, we uh, we have the urge to ask the question, why is this detail mentioned? There's got to be a wisdom behind it. There's got to be a reason why Allah is mentioning this to me because it has to have some direct relevance in my life. We're going to start the course by actually uh, taking an example from the story of Musa uh, and that is uh, the, the individual known as Qarun. Okay. So we want to get comfortable with, with the idea of reading a story in the Quran and reflecting and pondering and extrapolating lessons. Uh, and we want to establish some framework and we want to establish some context. So who do we have in Egypt? We have the native Egyptians, the people of Pharaoh, we have Bani Israel, you know, so then we, so we look at this individual named Qarun, who is, who is from Bani Israel. He's a member of that community, but he's very different than the rest of Bani Israel in terms of his, you know, relationship with the government at the time. Okay with respect to his socio-economic status and the things that Allah chooses to tell us about him his oppression, his tyranny we look into that the tyranny know? of Qarun yeah okay so even though he's from Bani Israel which is, which is interesting Bani Israel is supposed to be like the the, the, the second class or third class citizens okay. or the people so that are subjugated the, uh, those are slaves? no Oh. That's exactly it. So, so he's that individual from Bani Israel who's uh, totally different. Through this story, we get to uh, establish some of, the, um, some of the context and some of the foundation uh, for this, this epic of Moses yeah. uh, without necessarily being very cookie cutter and starting from the beginning, which we do, uh, you know, uh, on, the, on day two. Um, day two and three of the course, we, we go in chronological order. But in the beginning, it's nice to pick one section of the story and kind of analyze it so that we kind of get our, uh, you know, I, I call it like, we, get, we kind of get our tadabbur gears going. Assalamu alaikum. Door around the side here? Yeah, just right over All right. Here. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Sleep good? Very good. Alhamdulillah. Fine. Assalamu alaikum. How are you doing, Dr. Bidab? Assalamu alaikum. How's it going? Once upon the Nile, the epic of Moses.